For the first time since 1999, the Cowboys were back in the playoffs. Well, you like football? This is it tonight, boy. If you like football, you didn't forget what it's like, did you? Hey, this is back. That's just where we need to be, right here. That's right. That's right. As they say in Texas, this wasn't their first rodeo. No team in NFL history has played in and won more playoff games than Dallas. Come on, here we go, boys. Let's go. In Carolina, they faced a team they had beaten earlier. That's the way to go, fellas. Got a boy. There you go. As they had all season long, the Cowboys played hard and fast to the bitter end. Carter, he'll pump and run. He'll get his first down of the five. Touchdown, Quincy Carter. This time, it wasn't enough. Their season was over. But what a year it was. They obviously did some great things this year. Been fun to have a Cowboys team in the playoffs again, and we have big expectations for next year. None have higher expectations than general manager Jerry Jones and head coach Bill Parcells. Last season, Dallas regained its swagger. The star once again shined bright. The boys were back. He just wasn't going to be denied. Look at that. Fade right side of the end zone. Touchdown, Antonio Bryant. Back to throw. He is hit and he is sacked. Troy Hamrick's got 183 yards. Carter back to throw, steps up, great protection. Deep middle end zone, diving Glenn, touchdown! How about that effort? Flying and fighting his way. That is a shot hurt around the world right there. And the Cowboys are going back to the playoffs. In summer camp, there was a new head coach and a new rule. All players had to earn the star on their helmets. Tell you what, we ain't gonna have a bad practice this afternoon. We're not having it, I promise you. Let's go. Let's go. That's it, sit. There, there was also a new attitude somebody. built on old-fashioned hard work. That's it. That's the way to go. That's the way to get it in there. Nice throw. That a boy. Stars and rookies were tested. They were getting stronger. I said, you guys are doing better. You're doing better. That's what you got to do to get better, what you just did. There it is, there it is, there it is. Good. That's a touchdown right there. That's a touchdown right there. Tough two-a-days sharpened both the body and the mind. Bonds were made. Most important, a shared sense of purpose emerged. It's going to work. Let's go. Camp ended with a great deal accomplished, but much still left to do. Good job. Good pick up. Good pick up. Defense, you're coming along. We got to catch the ball better, receivers, quarterbacks. You got to know who you're throwing to, and you got to step and throw. Tell you what, boys, we got a lot to do here. We got a lot to do. Slot on the left. Blitz, look. He's not coming. Draw. Casey up the middle. First down and more 50. He's got a man to beat to the 40. Casey's broken it. The Texas Stadium. Touchdown, Dallas. Against the Falcons on opening day, the Cowboys scored twice from long range, but lost. Even worse, their next two games were on the road at the Meadowlands. Bill Parcells had coached the Giants and Jets and needed to beat them both to get his Cowboys back on track. Carter back to throw, pressured up the middle, skips to his left, cuts to his right at the 10, running to the five, strolling in, touchdown, Quincy Carter. Defense keyed the Giants to two Super Bowl wins under Parcells. Now his new team did the hitting, forcing three turnovers. Collins back five steps and sets and stands and looks and throws it over the middle intercepted by Singleton at the 40 right to the 30 and Al Singleton the former Buccaneers and let me show you how we did it in Florida and
and the Cowboys now lead the Giants 19 to 7. The young Cowboys let a 15 point lead slip away. But they rallied in the final seconds. Billy Cundis sixth field goal of the game could send it into overtime. This would tie the game. Snap and hold. Kicks away from 52 yards and guess what? He did it! Billy Cundiff kicked his sixth field goal of the game and we are going to overtime. In sudden death, Dallas relied on Quincy Carter, whose confident throws set up Cundiff's NFL record-tying seventh field goal. After a bye week, the Cowboys were right back at the Meadowlands to face the Jets. This time around, it was a lot easier. And Testaverde with a draw and a cutback from right to left, Martin to the 15. The ball is fumbled forward into the end zone and appears to be recovered by Woodson for a touchback. A touchdown pass to Antonio Bryant with 11 seconds left in the half stunned the Jets. Then Troy Hambrick knocked them out with 127 yards and a touchdown. Breaks a tackle at the 10. Troy Hambrick broke it all the way through the Jets secondary. Touchdown, Cowboys 31 yards. Their coach had beaten both his former teams. Now the Cowboys had to do battle against their most celebrated former teammate. Emmett Smith, the NFL's all-time leading rusher and holder of 62 team records, was back in Dallas. For 13 seasons, number 22 ran wild in Texas Stadium. On this day, he totaled minus one yard and was knocked out of the game. And off Smith. Oh, boom! Holy cow, Ecubon drilled him backwards along with Roy Williams, who blitzed and got him first. That is a shot heard around the world. Wow. With Emmett gone, the defense focused on Jeff Blake and dropped him twice for safeties. Blake chased to the end zone. He's hit. He's sacked again. It is another safety. And Kenyon Coleman has this one. At the start of the season, Dallas played conservatively to minimize mistakes. Now they were attackers and bold risk takers. And on first down, a handoff to Hambrick, pitch back to Carter, flea flicker, there's Galloway. He's all alone, but he's throwing down the post to Glenn. He caught it at the five, walking in, touchdown Cowboys. Dallas crushed Arizona for its third win in a row. They were improving each week. But Jerry Jones knew before the season even began that an October showdown with division rival Philadelphia would be a true measure of his team. He didn't have to wait long to find out. Akers approaches the football. He kicks it and tries an onside kick. It's an onside kick to start the game. The Cowboys recover at the 35. Randall Williams running to the end zone. Touchdown, Dallas. The Eagles had beaten them six straight times and roared back to lead by one late in the game. The Cowboys needed a big play and got one from rookie kick returner Zuriel Smith. Still in position to win the game, down 21 20, and the kick to Smith at the five. Zuriel Smith coming right at the 25 30 and outside to the 40. Protect the ball to midfield. 45 41 of the Eagles. Every game has its moment of truth. For the Cowboys, it came on third and seven from the Eagle 37. They had prepared for it long ago, back in summer camp. I'm going to tell you something, fellas. A year from now, or six months from now, I don't know when, you're going to pray they blitz. You're going to be wishing they blitz. With these guys we got out here, you'll be wishing for it. Third and seven. They're going to blitz. Here comes everybody over the middle. Caught Galloway at the 30, to the 20, to the 18. Heck of a play. Great read by both Joey Galloway and a great read by Quincy Carter. Dallas was on the brink of its most important win of the season, and Billy Cundiff provided the finishing kick. 
Billy Cundiff is three for three today with a minute 11. The Cowboys lead again, 23 to 21. The Cowboys were riding a four game winning streak. They sat atop the division and were determined to stay there. In Detroit, they won with flashy plays on both sides of the ball. And Harrington with play action back to throw. Ecubon's coming. He throws it over the middle. It's picked off. Mario Edwards at the 25, returning it right to the 20, to the 15 with a block from Dan Wynn, to the 5, to the goal line. Touchdown, Mario Edwards. Dallas forced four turnovers and blew out the Lions 38-7. Richie Anderson ran around them, and Troy Hambrick ran over them. But the real headliners were Quincy Carter and Terry Glenn, who hooked up three times for touchdowns, all in the first half. Carter, three steps, looking left, pump fake, throwing it into the end zone. Glenn caught it in the back of the end zone. Touchdown! What a throw and catch. Bootleg to the left, and he throws it right open in the end zone. Touchdown! Stop me if you've heard this, Terry Glenn. At five and one, the Cowboys were off to their best start in eight years. But there was still a long way to go. Last season, the Cowboy defense was number one in the NFL. Doomsday was back. Sack leader Greg Ellis, Kenyon Coleman, Eric Abagu, Willie Blade, and All-Pro Leroy Glover led an all-out assault. That win led the team in tackles, including a team leading nine for losses. Dexter Coakley roamed sideline to sideline in another all-pro season, while Marcus Steele and Al Singleton added big hits and key plays. In Big D, there was honor among thieves, the honor of being the best pass defense in the game. Mario Edwards blasted receivers, while rookie Terrence Newman led the team in interceptions. Veteran Darren Woodson kept one eye on the ball and the other on teammate Roy Williams. Number 31 has learned well. In only his second season, Williams became an all-pro and a leader of the NFL's best defense. Williams learned early that some teams are disliked more than others and need to be dealt with more harshly. The division rival Redskins have always been one of those teams. Dallas out hit and out fought them from start to finish. And they're going to run it. Hambrick diving over the top and left guard. Touchdown, Troy Hambrick. Carter, fake pitch left, blitz. Throws the ball away right. Caught at the fit. What a great catch by Glenn. Breaks a tackle to the 10. A block from Bryant. A great run into the end zone. Touchdown, Terry Glenn. The defense dominated again a week later, burying the Bills under an avalanche of sacks and turnovers. Bledsoe, back five. Sets. Late pressure, hit, fumble the football. Leroy Glover has it at the Dallas 23. Third and inches, play action. Bootleg right, he's got Campbell, right side of the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys are going to be tied with Carolina for home field advantage in the NFC, a game past the midway point. Once a Cowboy, always a cowboy. Legends never stray far, and their deeds are not forgotten. That legacy is a source of pride. Each year, new standard bearers seek to make their mark. 
Flozell Adams did so by being named to his first Pro Bowl, while future Hall of Famer Larry Allen made his eighth. You don't replace Emmett Smith, you merely succeed him. Troy Hambrick rushed for nearly a thousand yards, and his five touchdowns tied for the team lead. While Hambrick was the workhorse, Eric Bickerstaff and number 23 Avion Kaysen provided a change of pace. The Cowboys' most versatile backfield weapon was veteran Richie Anderson. Anderson gained over 300 yards and led the team with 69 catches, including four for touchdowns. Kaysen, the tailback out of the eye. They throw it in the right flat. Anderson caught first down, rolling down to the 20. A great block to the 10, and he's in for the touchdown. Dallas placed a premium on tough tight ends. Dan Campbell, number 82, Jason Witten, James Whalen, and Jeff Robinson were four strong options. Joining the likes of Staubach and Aikman, Quincy Carter became only the fifth Cowboy to pass for over 3,000 yards in a season. Antonio Bryant, Terry Glenn, and Joey Galloway each ran up over 550 receiving yards. Steps up, deep ball, wants Galloway left corner. Winners of seven of their last eight games. The Cowboys faced the Carolina Panthers. At stake, the top spot in the NFC. Sellout crowd on hand here at Texas Stadium in a big game for both teams. We'll see who wins it today. Is on DeLone Rush. Hit the ball comes flying up in the air. Roy Williams intercepted at the 40. Snap to Quincy. Three steps, no draw. That's it. Come on, Quincy. Ah! Nice ball fake. Pump fake looking. Pump throws it. Post to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Galloway. In a tense, tight game, Quincy Carter wasn't. He converted key third downs and passed for two touchdowns. But the Panthers answered each score with one of their own. The Cowboys needed someone to step up and win. Carter did just that with a career high 29 completions. Most important, he led the drive that won the game. It's a handoff to Anderson. Wow. Who options left to Kaysen at wow. the 20 to the 15 to the 10, and he cuts it behind. This was by far the best win, and it was a hard-fought game. I'm just proud of them. Okay, you're not going to be able to call them losers anymore. Now, we might not be winners, but we're not losers anymore. One more, and then you have to call us winners at least. Gray skies loomed after losses to the Dolphins and Eagles. The Cowboys were in a foul mood when they arrived in windswept Washington. And Carter back and sets and throws a middle screen to Anderson, trying to slip up the middle. He does, right to the 10. Anderson to the goal line. Touchdown, Cowboys. No one was angrier than raging bull Troy Hamrick, who ripped through the rain and the Redskins for a career-high 189 yards. And Carter rolling to his left. This is a design quarterback run. Carter high steps into the end zone. Touchdown, Quincy Carter. The Cowboys shut them out, and rookie Terrence Newman tied a team record with three interceptions. Hasselbeck looks right. There's a fade. It's intercepted by Newman. Intercepted by Newman, his third. He is coming right to the 48-yard line. It's a hat trick for Newman. They'll give it a bigger staff. He walks the dog. <laughs> no resistance. Touchdown, Dallas. Dallas's ninth victory made them winners. But the following week, they set their sights even higher. With one more win, the Cowboys would be back in the playoffs. Quincy Carter couldn't wait and turned in the longest play of the season the first time he touched the ball. 
Carter, play action, all day to throw deep to the post. He wants Joey Galloway, and he caught it at the 15-yard line, 64 yards, and Quincy Carter on the spot and loving it right out of the chute. <laughs> Carter stayed hot, threw a touchdown pass, and set up four field goals. The best defense in the NFL did the rest. Five sacks and countless bruises later, the Giants were swept away 19 to three. Three step drop by Carter. Back now, rolls right, throws down the middle. He's got Witten all alone at the four. And Jason Witten walks in for a 36 yard touchdown. And the Cowboys are going back to the playoffs for the first time since 1999 by beating the New York Giants 19 to three. Building on their stellar 10 win playoff season, their sights are now set on the promising new year. Jerry Jones' expectations have been and always will be the highest of all. The Dallas Cowboys recaptured their rightful place among pro football's elite. Down the sideline to the left corner, Richie Anderson in stride, a touchdown, Cowboys. No team has played in more Super Bowls. No team has won more Super Bowls. They have been to the top of the mountain many times. They know what it takes. And they're prepared to do it again. The boys are back. But they want much more. NFL Films production has been brought to you by the National Football League. The NFL is online at www.nfl.com.